They say April showers bring May flowers. Well, it's May. Time to get some flowers. Let's get fed. I'm JB, master presenter, former Fortune 50 sales executive, and your guide for everything sales and productivity. I'm the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso, a clinical psychologist and your resident expert in behavior, mindset, and wellness. We hope you're hungry. It's time to get fed by JB and the doctor. Welcome to the Get Fed Podcast. I'm your host today, Dr. Dr. Andre Caruso, and we are excited. Another month down and another month here we go. These months are flying by. Before we get into that, do me a favor. You know what I'm going to say. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Rate five stars. Share with your friends. Turn on those notifications. I think I even did it out of order this time just to keep my team on their toes when they add all the cool, fun graphics, and if you don't know what I'm talking about because you're only listening on the podcast, no, we're on YouTube as well. So you can find us there. So listen, then watch, then go listen again. Bring some friends along. We'll be happy to, uh, which is a great lead in today. So we've been talking about themes pretty much every month. And we've had, you know, January, we're getting started. We had the Fresh Start February. We had that March forward, we had assessing April, but now kind of just want to go into to May, which is mental health month, which we'll be talking about in a future episode coming up shortly. But that old saying, are you familiar with it? April showers bring May flowers. And that got me thinking a lot, even though it hasn't been very rainy here in South Florida, that's our summer. So we're about a month or so away from the really hot and rainy muggy days so don't be don't be too jealous if you've had the rain because you're probably coming into your summer where it's going to be nice and beautiful it's our trade-off i know if you're in south florida you've had more rain than even uh, seattle has this year so which is very unusual right but those showers that have been there bring may flowers that's the idea is the rain brings the bloom and that got me thinking a lot about flowers and what we use when we talk about flowers these days as compliments is giving respect, giving their kudos to the people that deserve it. So I personally on a mission for the month of May, I am going to on, on my Instagram and probably some other places, but definitely on Instagram. So if you're not following me on there. Make sure you are at Dr. Andre Caruso. Uh, I am pledging to give flowers out every day for the month of May. And what does that mean? It means I'm just going to highlight and give some kudos to people that to people that I really believe deserve it. Now, I won't get to everyone, unfortunately, but I'm going to, you know, hand out some awesome flowers to the people that deserve it. And that's my goal. So you might not have to do what I'm doing, but I encourage you to look in your life and who we can hand out some flowers to. And why? Why is that important? important for many reasons. Obviously, everyone loves some good appreciation, and we don't do it enough. Uh, We do not let people know how much we appreciate them. We let them know when they disappoint us. We're great at that, right? Uh, Sometimes. Sometimes we're not good at that either. Online, you're really good at that. Um, But giving kudos is is something that we we don't do as well. and when it actually comes to giving real flowers, this is a very interesting stat that I found out. Um, most men receive their first set of flowers when they're laying in their coffin. After they passed away is the first time that anyone's ever given them flowers. And that is talking literal flowers, or here I'm talking more figuratively, but the same idea, right? So why are we not giving people flowers literally and figuratively while they can still appreciate them? especially for the men out there. There's no reason why we can't celebrate them just the same way we would celebrate women. Uh, And if you watch some of the videos of people getting flowers, especially men, it brightens up their whole day. Their whole mood changes. It's something that they're not used to. It's not something you have to do, but something to think about on how we get kind of stuck into these areas of beliefs that, well, we can't do that. We shouldn't do that. Men don't expect it. Great. They don't. More reason to do it. Why else do I like the idea of kudos and and giving these flowers to to people? Well, it's a good reinforcement, right? People treat us the way we train them to, 
and people respond to us the way that we allow them to. If we can promote an area of positivity, real positivity, not the, the forced positivity, but some real positivity towards people that we have, you know, high respect for and that we appreciate, that in turn is going to reinforce that that behavior is a good thing. Not only for them, but other people that are watching, um, other people that would like some kudos. So something to look definitely towards. So these kudos are, are just something that takes seconds out of your day. It could be a thank you after someone's done something. Um, there's a trend right now that uh, I'm not generally a giant fan of, and it's not really actually great for that reinforcement is when you say thank you to someone and most of the time the response is like, no problem, or I got you, um, which is fine. It's a good conversation, but you're welcome. And actually saying that is statistically shows an improvement in getting that repeat behavior and feeling that actual appreciation. Uh, it's weird that somehow sometimes words like that make a difference, but they do. So we should be cautious with the words and how we talk to people. And I'm not going to go too much into a rant about that, but just the idea of the kudos in general, so powerful. So uh, give some people some flowers, give some celebration out there, figure out however you want to do it. There's more than one way to do it. Find your style, what, what's easiest, best for you, but take the time to give some positive feedback, especially in the mental health month. Could you imagine how much positive mental health and wellness we get from just paying more attention to the people around us and in a positive way? Uh, and speaking of that, I'm going to give out my first set of flowers. Um, I'm going to do it to my team. Uh, my business partner, JB, holds things down in ways that I couldn't even think of. He's a, a friggin' machine, but in the best way and does things so efficient that I'm usually 10 days behind whatever he's doing. Um, we offer some good balance in a lot of ways, but he is a, he don't know what I would do without him. And I'm glad to have him as a business partner. And then our team, Antoinette, Annabelle, they are absolutely amazing. All this content that you see that we put out, they're the real rocks behind it. Uh, if I was stuck at any of these videos, I would not look half as good as we do. Wouldn't be half as good, not even a quarter as good. Uh, probably wouldn't even come out, truthfully. So I am so grateful to have such a good team surrounding me that makes my job easier, uh, which is great for you guys because then it makes it that much easier to get you the stuff that you want more of. And, and hopefully you're enjoying that. And then my last flowers for this episode... And then you will see throughout the month of May consistently giving out flowers. Uh, but as to you guys, our, our awesome peeps that are out there supporting us, clicking those likes, sharing the, the podcast, sharing our content, giving referrals, uh, just promoting us and just, you know, helping us along the way in any way possible. Support, no matter what you do, is very helpful. You don't realize how much a like goes a long way. Those little things matter and we really appreciate it. So you enjoy your flowers as well. Uh, who are you going to give flowers to? Let us know. You know, I'm always interested in hearing from you guys and what's going on. Sign to those DMs. Let me know who's getting flowers from you. Uh, and hopefully we have just a really great um, continuity around this that we just see it kind of expand and expand. And while we're doing it for May, it doesn't mean we need to stop there, but I love the idea of just doing some May flowers for everyone. So go do it. We will talk to you soon. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, go Panthers. We just clinched a playoff uh, round two coming on. So clinched great flowers for them. They got past the first round, headed to the second round. So excited. Keep going. So next time you'll see me, we'll be saying go Panthers again. All right. Peace out, yo.